We'll give you the real answer in a bit. In Real Talk this week, Southern California's Oingo Boingo and frontman Danny Elfman. Danny's composed scores for Beetlejuice, Batman, and Warren Beatty's upcoming Dick Tracy. Oingo Boingo's new album, Dark at the End of the Tunnel, has just been released and Out of Control is the group's first music video in four years. Danny talks about the tone of the album and why he wrote a song dealing with teen suicide. We never really uh, plan how the album's going to come out, what the tone of the album's going to be. We just start recording and we'll do as many songs as we can and then we start sifting through them and seeing which songs work interesting against each other. And finally when we end up with nine songs that seem to create a, uh, a canvas that we like together, then we consider ourselves done. I realize from a lot of the letters I get and from talking with people and from remembering my own youth that uh, kids in particular tend to feel that their whatever their problems were, whether it's a jilted love or problems at home or any number of things, that they're the only ones who feel that, that it's unique to them and that they suffer alone. And so I wrote the song kind of as an open letter. Uh, it's saying that you'd be amazed how many people feel the same thing you feel and uh, how many people could understand what you're going through if you gave them a chance. Amazing I could get up, eat breakfast, and drag myself down to my studio and start work. I mean, it's because what's good about that is since the studio is underneath my house, it, I can't get lost. All I have to do is just kind of crawl down the stairs and I'll end up in the studio. If it was even a block away, I have no doubt that I'd never get there. Gifted artist Danny Elfman wears two musical hats. He's the mastermind behind quirky Southern California favorites Oingo Boingo. He is also a highly regarded TV and movie score composer whose works include Pee Wee's Playhouse, Fox TV's Smash The Simpsons, and on the big screen, Midnight Run, Beetlejuice, and the Grammy-winning Batman. Elfman has a hectic dual schedule, especially with the release of Oingo Boingo's latest album, Dark at the End of the Tunnel, and an upcoming tour. It's pretty rough keeping them both going, but I, what keeps me engaged is the fact that I love doing them both. And I got to the point where I just can't imagine doing just one without the other. Um, when I'm in the middle of a long tour and I'm repeating myself, because that is the nature of live performing, like theater, and concerts they're the same that way you have to repeat yourself and you have to stay inspired and, and it gets very difficult to do that I long for the simplicity of being at my piano just writing a score where I could invent something new every day um, on the other hand when I'm in the middle of a long two three month film project and it's 12 14 hours a day it's very disciplined very intense I long for the physical, the physicality, rather, of being on stage and sweating and uh, being able to move and run around and uh, how perfect that feels at that moment. So whichever one I'm doing, I really want to do the other one real bad. And I think they help give me a balance. Even with his movie scoring commitments, watch for Danny Elfman leading his Oingo Boingo troops out on a tour of the States this spring. I know.